Good morning. Hello and welcome. This is the Nissan Primera P10 of the year 1995. We are going to check the interior, um, the sky and the wheels. So, having entered the interior cabin of uh, the vehicle, we can see the upper ceiling from the front side, whereupon we can realize that the adjustment of the coating to the ceiling of the car, to the sky of the car, is literally in perfect match, in perfect condition. Uh, and we can realize this also from the rear side, where we have the whole spectrum view of the upper ceiling of the sky of the car that uh, literally referring to a 27 years old car the ceiling the coating of the ceiling and the adjustment of uh, the hand uh, uh, leverages and uh, the lights uh, positioning at the center and the front everything has gone perfectly well in a sense that proves that uh, the Primera, the P10, uh, I believe the P11, the P12 as well, uh, they have uh, literally a perfect ceiling uh, build-up, even from the factory, and have no necessity, they're, no, they're, they're in no need of uh, recalibrating and readjusting the ceiling that in many other cars, just like uh, on that Audi A4, where the ceiling is falling, uh, mismatching the top of, uh, of the car. So, the reference for the ceiling for the sky of the car, of the Primera P10, has given no faults, no problems, and no glitches whatsoever. And this is something that uh, characterizes mainly all the Japanese cars that have a very good uh, quality of uh, produ productivity quali uh, quality, and uh, they are bringing no troubles to the owners and to the drivers. So again, we verify that the, the, the ceiling of the Primera P10 has been intact throughout 27 years, 
through the heat, through the heat of the summer, the cold of the winter, the moisture, and so on. Now, a second point of reference for uh, this uh, presentation. We are going to refer to the wheels, and especially to the tatis, to the tassis, the caliper of the wheels, because the Primeras, uh, at least the P10, uh, probably the P11, they have uh, calipers, they have tassis uh, on their wheels, and uh, I can uh, emphatically confirm to you that these uh, calipers, these tassis, they are the originals of the vehicle since 1995, though they have suffered uh, some 40-50% uh, of corrosion, of inner glitches and inner, let's say, um, um, breakings and scratches, mainly the, four, uh, mainly the two front wheels and their tassis. And uh, the solution was given by a Greek company that uh, is called Paint Bull and uh, has lit literally rejuvenated uh, the calipers, the tassis, in a sense not only to repaint them, but also in uh, the right front caliper. It was a missing part some up to here, some up to a point here, there was a whole part missing from the circumference, from the perimeter of, uh, of, of the sasses, and they have rebuilt it. So they have done a fantastic job. The company is called Paintball. You can meet it in Athens of Greece, but literally in every city uh, you can find uh, equivalent uh, shops and companies that uh, engage with the refurbishing and uh, repainting and uh, re-establishing uh, the paint and uh, the features of the car. So there was uh, a rebuilding and a repainting for all classes of the Primera at a cost at about 50 euros with uh, two work days, the necessary time of uh, the actual uh, repairment and they have uh, readjusted perfectly on the wheels. So the color of all main passes and wheels it's uh, this um, open silver color and you can find the color for your own uh, minting, for your own repairing activity if you want to buy the color and repaint your own, by, your, by yourselves the tassis, it is an open silver color. Okay, so this is the actual reference also to the calipers, to the tassis of the Primera P10. We can see all of the four wheels with uh, a little zooming uh, by the camera that are in literal uh, new shape, rejuvenated, refurbished.
So this has been some abbreviated reference to the ceiling of the interior and uh, the wheel tassis of the Primera P10. I hope all of your Primeras are in the best shape. Thank you very much.